Hi, here we have Carolyn Hong from the SME Association. Carolyn, tell me about the association and what you've done to bring these delegates in. The SME Association of Australia was launched in October 2011, founded by a gentleman called Matthew Johnson. And we exist to support small and medium enterprise, helping them to connect, grow and prosper. And today is a really great example of how we do, do that. Um, we, I have a delegation, a VIP delegation from Yiwu. Yiwu is a, a, a county in what they call a fifth-tier city in China, 200 kilometers south of Shanghai. And today we have a delegation comprising of the vice mayor of Yi Wu together with all the very important decision makers from his office and the, the government of Yi Wu. And what I've done today is uh, that I've brought two SMEs, one um, uh, Opal company and the other one is supplying Australian wines. And we just this morning had a discussion, an introduction, a friendship, um, getting to know you type, breaking the ice and getting to understand each other's uh, challenges and stories and I hope that um, this opportunity will open up a lot of doors for not only the two companies that are brought in to meet the EU delegation but for many many more SMEs in Australia and I hope that through this exercise is a first step to not only uh, fostering strong relationship between Australia and China but actually creating opportunities for SMEs to expand into the China market through a low-cost way via the Yiwu uh, markets. Yiwu, for those of you who have never been there, is quite an amazing city. It, it has a very short history. It's only 30 years ago that it started its uh, sort of a market uh, concept. And over the past 30 years, they've become international. And for the, in the whole world, the United Nations has named it as the biggest uh, commodity markets in the whole world. And they have an international uh, district, uh, international mart, they call it, uh, whereby um, they encourage um, uh, imports from Australia, from Europe, from America, from Asia. And this is where I saw the opportunity that this is a low-cost way for SMEs to get into EU, get into the space of the international market, and it's through that. On a daily basis, more than 200,000 visitors vi visit the EU markets. So therefore, if you get your foot in the door through the EU markets, your products will be seen, potentially seen by 200,000 people on a daily basis. So how fantastic would it be if uh, they could uh, spot the wine, the opal, or the garment, or the fashion, the handbags, or jewelry um, in EU, and, and it is our Australian story. So I'd like to not only uh, do this as a one-off, it's about long-term relationship. And uh, what do you think the Yiwu delegation that's come, come out, have, they, uh, have you met their expectations? And what are they expecting to come out and see? Uh, from the discussions this morning, the Vice Mayor said that this visit uh, is his first visit to Australia and he's only spent two days in Sydney and what they like to achieve from this visit is to open up opportunities for trade both ways, for uh, Australian um, businesses to invest in EU and also do business in EU or to sell their products through the EU gateway to the whole of China and to to, to the rest of the world. They also hope that through the exercise that their people can also come to Australia, source our products, um, buy our products, or export their products here. So it's a, it's, it's a two-way street. I, I, in business, I don't believe in just taking. I think it's a give and take, and everybody wins in the end. So I think from this morning's discussion, we have met their expectation because the two companies that we introduced to them, there are already early signs of definite business happening and, and I'm very proud that um, we've reached this stage. And this is a fantastic model to bring more delegations in from around uh, China. Yes, uh, on a weekly basis, I do get requests from, uh, particularly from China, from groups, groups I've never heard of. And I believe with a, in a country with 1.3 billion people, I imagine there would be at least a, more than a million associations or business bodies, private and government bodies, or not-for-profit organizations. So on, it's not unusual for me to, on a weekly basis, to receive requests uh, uh, from, from groups, delegations, and they just don't know how to come in and actually uh, go back to their city and actually have results that they want. So um, I, I feel that my example would be one way. Um, we have so many groups coming here and it would be so sad that they spend their money and their time and then they go back to their county or their city and not actually get the outcome that they want. It, what I'm doing is a way of um, providing uh, results for the delegation 
uh, and also providing results for the businesses in Australia. So it's a win-win-win uh, outcome. And uh, I understand that uh, this is a lot of it's the first time for them and uh, you've got a great program for today. Yes, it's the first time for the EU delegation. I have hosted delegations many times before uh, in, in different capacity, um, but this is a, a private uh, enterprise that uh, the way that we're doing is a typical example of how a, a small organisation, a uh, grow, growing new organisation, uh, as I said, if there's a will, there's a way. I believe in the EU story. I believe in the Australia-China relationship. I believe in long-term business relationship, and it has to start with friendship first. And what have you got planned for today for them? Wow, you know, I was only given literally only two weeks to put this program together and I was not just going to say hello, shake your hands and then say goodbye, have a good day. I actually went all out and today I've, I've, I'm spending a whole day with them. So we started with a business discussion and business, uh, you know, getting to know you and, and pitching the, the two businesses I brought in today, the Opal and the Wine. They, they, told their story, a really good story, and I can see results happening. And after this, we're going to, uh, I'm going to take them to uh, a Chinese lunch because that's a very um, uh, uh, friendly way of, and it doesn't w doesn't matter how many people turn up, so anybody who can turn up can join us. So we'll take them to a Chinese lunch, and then I'm going to take them to uh, one of the uh, business uh, center, which is the uh, Opal company, and they're going to be um, given a, a sort of a, a site inspection of that Opal business, how it's done here, uh, and Opal's jewellery that could potentially be sold via Yiwu to the whole of China and to the rest of the world. Um, and, and a fact that most uh, many people are not aware of is Yiwu on an annual basis actually sends out 650,000 container loads of goods overseas on an annual basis 650,000 container loads so imagine that if your opal or your wine or your your fashion or your shops your, your, your jewelry your shoes or handbags how fantastic it would be so i see that as a, a, a great opportunity for australian goods and uh, the low cost way any further comments and and this evening uh this evening uh, i've got two more programs for them i i i taking them on a boat cruise, a private boat cruise, and to actually showcase Vivid Sydney. And I think that's the best way to showcase Sydney is from the harbour. So that will be one hour cruise. And after that, I'm taking them to the Dragon Boat restaurant. And we will have front row seats and we will see again Vivid Sydney of Darling Harbour. And hopefully we'll get some fireworks tonight. So I always say that if you only got a short stay in Sydney, you got to see the Opera House, you got to see the harbour, you got to see Darling Harbour. And I think that in such a short space of time, I've been able to um, put this program together.